Okay, we're on the field. Let's hear what's there. And welcome back. I'm Verona, and I have with me Darius Johnson. You are watching Dystopia Alliance versus Mosses Me. And uh, Dystopia are actually filled in the first Marauder this time around. Um, we have on the field for Dystopia Varga, a Claymore, a Cyclone, a Basilisk, two Tyrannus, three Ruptures, and a Thorax. And for Morsus Mihi, we have a Basilisk, Saber, Blackbird, Drake, Saber, Saber, Rook, Drake, Widow, Rook. ECM heavy setup. Yep, and we're just awaiting the, um, the countdown on local now from uh, Claw for this match to go ahead. And are we underway? Yep, we're still waiting. We have a slight bit of a technical difficulty, I think, but we'll be getting back to the match as soon as we can. Uh, we're just waiting for the countdown, um, and then we'll get right ahead. So, Darius, who's your money on for this round? Uh, my money's on Dystopia. I'm very fond of Morris' Me, um, but Dystopia um, it, it took us out of the tournament last year. Um, so uh, I, I, I'm always believing that they could beat just about anybody because we're pretty awesome. Yep, and if they don't beat you, they'll hold a grudge and the Guiding Hand Social Club will come and steal all of your stuff. Yeah, or make very bad posts. Indeed. Right now we are getting the countdown in local, 10 seconds to go um, from CCP Claw and we will be underway. And we have movement. We do indeed, straight away there, the um, Tyrannus of, um, of the, um, the Dystopia team absolutely steaming across the field. Uh, towards Morsus Mihi. We've got a huge, absolutely massive pile of Hornet EC300s and Vespa EC600s. Really heavy EW drone support from uh, Dystopia. Yes, indeedy. And we're not seeing a whole lot of damage anywhere yet. Slivers kind of spread around. What did they dump those drones on? I think they've been kind of dumped on everything. Um, the rooks, both of the rooks from uh, Morsus Mihi have a whole pile of Vespa EC600s piled around them to try and keep them out of the uh, keep them out of the engagement. We can see there a rupture straight away from the Guiden Hen Social Club uh, of Dystopia Alliance dropping really fast. He's down and out. And we have uh, one of the rooks from Morsus Mihi kind of trinketing away his shields as well as the saber. We also have a Blackbird there for uh, Morsus Mihi on the field. He's deep into shields. It looks as well we might be losing him soon, too. Yeah, I made a mistake. It was the Blackbird, not the Rook. But they, they I think they, they're plinking away at another, at uh, one of Dystopia's ruptures again as well. Well, it doesn't matter about that Blackbird because he's dead now anyway, and we don't care. The um, rupture, another rupture there from um, from Dystopia down. Um, it's uh, pretty surprising, but they seem to be dropping pretty quickly. Yeah, it is interesting. We have one of the rooks for real now this time from uh, Morsus Mihi. Almost had a shield. And gone. Boom. There he goes. That's a big chunk of uh, Morsus Mihi's EW gone there. They still do have Voklau and the Widow on the field. Um, they still do have another rook on the field as well. Um, as well as three sabers and their basilisk and two drakes. So um, they're still in a good position. Um, and we still could see them uh, pull this match off. Uh, Tyrannus as well for uh, for Dystopia taking a lot of damage and he's down and out too. Yeah, that Tyrannus has dropped and they've actually spread it onto the other rupture and the other rupture drops very fast from uh, Dystopia. It's actually Tyrax just died. We always love to see Tyrax die. It's hilarious in the tournament when it happens. So it's better when he's flying something expensive. But hey, you know you can't win every time. And the Dystopia Tyrannus, one of the other Tyrannus is dropping. But it appears, and it's gone. Yeah, as we well can see the there, um, on the field for Dystopia, we have a Varga, a Claymore, a Cyclone, a Basilisk, a Tyrannus, and a Thorax. Uh, for Morsus Mihi, we have two Drakes, three Sabres, a Widow, and a Basilisk. 
And you spoke too soon because that thorax is now gone, as is a saber from Morsus Mihi. With the other saber taking damage and about to drop as well. It looks as if they did actually start shooting a quadjet of um, Morsus Mihi and his basilisk for a while there, but they've taken the DPS off him now. Yeah, and so just as a reminder, what we're looking at now from Dystopia is a Basilisk Claymore Varger, Tyrannus Cyclone, and on the Morsus Mihi side we have a Drake, Drake, Basilisk, Widow, and Saber. Um, and the Morsus Mihi Basilisk is uh, taking shield damage. Got about 25% shields. Yeah, you can see just how much damage that Marauder is putting out by just how quickly the shield on that, uh, on that Basilisk vanished. Yeah, don't blink, you might have just missed the Basilisk that just blew up. Yep, and he is gone. NT Rabbit of the Garden Hand Social Club there. I believe he's fitted with auto cannons on that uh, Varga, which gets a quite healthy bonus to its damage being a, being a Marauder hull. That it does. Now we have a Morsus Mihi Saber taking some shield damage, as well as the Dystopia Alliance Claymore. Uh, but the Saber's in armor and it's gone. And this is why uh, Marauders are, would be pretty effective in the tournament when they're set up quite correctly. I mean, this thing, uh, the, uh, the Varga only having four turret hard points, but it gets a 100% uh, bonus to its, uh, its turret damage. So effectively, you end up with, uh, with eight turrets, um, and you also end up with three spare uh, utility high slots as well, because uh, it has seven highs and only four turret hard points. So they're very effective ships when used correctly. We can see that we've just lost another of the Dystopia team. Yeah, they're just kind of tearing each other to pieces here. This is very interesting. The uh, Vuk Lao and the Widow now taking damage from Dystopia. Uh, of Morsus Miki taking damage from Dystopia. And on the Dystopia side, we have a Cyclone. Uh, only about 25% shield. And that Widow's in armor and it's starting to drop. Yeah, Fast. the Vogger of... Um... The Varga of um, Dystopia Alliance is right on top of it now, auto cannon fitted, so it's not going to last long. And there you go, straight into structure. And the uh, Cyclone is right back up. So now all we have left on the field for Morsus Mihi is a pair of Drakes, with the Dystopia side having a Varga, Cyclone, Tyrannus, and a Basilisk left. Um, so this has swung pretty heavily in the favor of uh, Dystopia Alliance. Yeah, I do think that Dystopia are going to take this regardless, but um, I was expecting a more convincing win from them, to be honest. Yeah, I, I don't disagree, but like I said, uh, there's a lot of variables. Yeah, there Except is indeed. Things. I'm not necessarily surprised to have seen Morsus Mihi push it out. I mean, they are, they are a very talented team in and of themselves. Uh, as the Drake, uh, one of the first Drakes on Morsus Mihi's side, uh, loses shields, and once a Drake loses shields, it dies. Quite horribly. And I'm also, I'm, a, I'm always a fan of seeing Drakes die, because I absolutely hate them anyway, so... Any Drakes killed in the tournament is a good thing, it takes them out of tranquility, and we don't have to look at them anymore. I think it's great, you know, but I also think that the idea of a flat spaceship really makes me happy. And when I do fly a Drake, I can't stop looking at it. Yeah, but it looks as if it's just a matter of uh, cleaning up for Dystopia now, one Drake left on the field. Um, but as for the shapes of spaceships, I quite prefer vertical ones, so I like the Varga and I like the Naglfar too. I agree, but if one thinks about it, as the Morsus Mihi Drake hits 25, or loses about 25% shields and they're just going to plink that down. If one really thinks about it, a vertical ship is nothing more than a flat ship on its side. This is an interesting observation, good sir, and uh, I do tend to agree. I quite also like the Myrmidon for its verticalness. Uh, I enjoy the Myrmidon myself, even though uh, I don't fly them. That Drake is now completely out of shields and it's going to drop. Which would make... Uh, Dystopia, the victors of this particular match with a Cyclone, Varga, Basilisk, and Tyrannus still on the field. Yeah, we're just waiting for confirmation that the match is over now, is that uh, that last Drake from uh, Morsus Mihi hits a low structure. Um, he'll be going down any second now. One would assume. 
Well, he's taking a sweet time about it, that's for sure, but he's going to die sooner or later. <laughs> I think probably NT Rabbit's run out of ammunition and he's reloading or something crazy like that. Uh, the prevailing theory seems to be that they're holding fire on purpose. Ah, they're holding fire to loot, in fact. Guiding Hand Social Club not happy with taking people's stuff um, when they're not looking, wanting to take people's stuff when they are looking. Which puts us again in a wonderful position of, of uh, getting to fill time. Well, this is fine. I mean, we can talk a little bit more about Tyrax and his escapades, if you like, because um, I think we're going to see a lot more of it uh, this tournament. I'm actually hoping that Dystopia will field a lot of their more expensive equipment later on. Yeah, the early the early stages, everybody kind of plays uh, plays it kind of fast and loose with the with the cheaper setups. Um, I'm hoping in the next round, at least, we'll start to see some some more interesting, expensive things. Blame, yeah, well, I in, believe, was the word kill two used. Well, interestingly, looking at the um, the flagships list, um, I was looking down at it earlier today before we started a broadcast, and I saw Dystopia Alliance. Then right beside it, I saw the flagship name, Chorus of Angels. Um, and I was like, whoa, hold on a second, because the Chorus of Angels is the name that um, Istvan Shigatsu gives to his um, Imperial Issue Apocalypse. Um, and then, sadly, I looked over to the next column in the, uh, in the list that we have, and it was... Uh, you know, it was a Balkorn, so <laughs> I was a bit disappointed in that respect, but hey, you know, you can't have everything. A role-playing faux pas, as it were. And we can see there that um, I'm not actually going to try and pronounce his name because I'm hopeless at it, but um, the guy in the Drake, we'll call him from um, from um, Moses Me, he has initiated self-destruct. Um, and it looks as if Dystopia have started to open fire on him again. It's Kunta Kinte, and 